Are spiders dangerous? Arachnophobia is one of the most common fears amongst humans, not helped by decades of monstrous portrayals of spiders on the big screen and in newspapers. However, as a whole, spiders are probably a lot less dangerous than you think. It is only a very, very small percentage of spider species that can actually be harmful to humans, such as the Sydney funnel web, brown recluse, Brazilian wandering, and the infamous black widow. We do keep a couple of species of black widows here at ZSL London Zoo, and uh, they're beautiful spiders in their own right, but also they're fascinating because they could be potentially dangerous to humans. With the potentially dangerous spiders, we do have them in a locked venom cabinet, uh, and we have restricted access to them. We make sure that if a keeper is servicing them, they let other people know that they're doing it, and we do go through drills if we need to evacuate someone being bitten. But that has never happened. A lot of people are worried about huge spiders like Guerrero here. Well, this, this lovely, beautiful animal here is uh, a Mexican red-kneed spider, what everybody might call a tarantula or a bird-eating spider. And uh, he's not dangerous, right? It's only like a bee sting and he's never bitten anybody. So there's far more reason to like spiders than there is to dislike them because the risks from bites is so minimal and yet the gains from studying them and looking at the constituents of the venom are far greater. Some scientists believe that even those very few species of potentially dangerous spider are likely to end up doing humans a lot more good than harm. There's an amazing collection of uh, diseases that spider venom appears to be useful for. The key driver um, is pain research. There's been a, a lot done in this area, but also we're finding new antibiotics, uh, even things like antimalarials but also spider venoms are acting in cancer and inflammatory pathways as well. So there's a whole spectrum of human diseases where we don't have good medicines for, where spider venom could be the next big thing. In, in terms of new spider venom therapeutics, I would think um, in the next two to three years we will start seeing them um, in entering in, into clinical trials, uh, and maybe even sooner than that. Uh, there are some new venoms uh, spider venoms in particular that have been found recently um, that act on uh, a key component in pain signaling. Um, it's called NAV 1.7 and if you have this um, mutation you don't feel pain at all. So that tells us if you can knock out just that one gene uh, then you should have a, a nice safe painkiller. And there are some novel tarantula venoms that have been found to actually act in this process already. So I don't think they'll be too far away from, from, from clinical work. So next time a tarantula pops up on TV, just remember, spiders aren't that dangerous and one day they might just save your life. <laughs>